so we're here with Seco and uh, who are you? Alessandro Santini and I'm in charge of developing this, pro this line of products. It's called uh, Udo. Nice. It's a line of uh, community boards intended for makers, hobbyists, schools, universities, students, this kind of people. So uh, you had the three generations? We have three generations. The first one uh, was launched in 2013. It's what called the CPU? It's based on, on the NXP IMX6 uh, uh, Solo? CPU, the, the dual and du quad core. Dual and quad? Dual and quad. And then what is this one? Udo Neo is based on the Solo X. Yeah. So it's a single core Cortex 9 plus a, a core M4 on the same die. So what was the success of this one? How many people use this? Uh, I say that more than 30,000 people use this. 30,000? Yeah. That's and a there's a very lively community on the on the web. That's a big... It's Udo community is a... It's a big community. It's a very big community, it's very lively. We have thousands of posts, hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube. So it's a very lively community. You can find whatever on the internet. Many what do 30,000 people, what do they do with all these boards? Oh, they do the most different things. Uh, starting from uh, simple uh, home uh, appliance to quasi-professional products in uh, security or weather stations or uh, simple automation uh, Red coffee machines some example this uh, it could be iot and all these uh, all these things yes these one are more the, uh, the higher end stuff right of, of our industrial stuff yes yes and uh, what are you showing here okay here i'm showing our latest baby it's called Udo x86 it's on kickstarter now for other three days uh, the campaign was very successful. It's a Braswell Intel CPU, very powerful, 4 core, 64 bits, up to 2.56 gigahertz. What kind of Braswell? Is that like a Core I or something? Uh, no, it's an Atom. It's, a, it's like an Atom? It's an Atom. Atom Braswell? Yep. yep. And, uh, and there's a Curie microcontroller that runs the Arduino part. So you have a standard, quite powerful computer and an Arduino 101 on the same PCB. So you combine an Arduino? An Arduino and a computer. It's our philosophy. All these boards are Arduino plus computer on the same PCB. So you said this is an Arc? Yes. Arc power. What is Arc? Arc is a, uh, it's a microcontroller um, architecture from Intel. Uh, the Intel is pushing a lot. On, it's on not the Edison. IoT market. It's uh, the lower power version of the Edison, let's say. All right. And so uh, right here you can connect everything from an Arduino? You can connect any shield that is compatible with Arduino 101 and you can use any sketch that you developed for, uh, for Arduino. On this side and that side? On that side you run the operating system. You can run Linux, you can run Android and also you can run Windows 10, Windows 8. So you are free to uh, whatever flavor operating system. Can we look at the ports? There's a... Uh, there are free uh, video outputs, HDMI and uh, yeah. embedded display port and you can run up to four uh, to, to free display 4K resolution. Whoa, so what do you say? There was really display port? Yes. Two of it's, them? It's mini display port plus HDMI. Two min mini display port? Yes. And an HDMI? Yep. And the 4K, 4K, 4K? Yes, exactly. 3-4K? 3-4K. That's a lot. At the same time. It's a lot, yes. <laughs> it, it will be a, a very good home... Uh, um, yeah. Is this gigabit Ethernet? Gigabit Ethernet, um, USB free, okay, power supply, and SPD for audio. There's so, more USB 3 right here? Yep. More SPD. So there's three USB 3? Yep. And, uh, all right. So, uh, Kickstarter, uh, how, how much did you raise? We had a target of $100,000 and we reached it in six hours. We reached uh, six, uh, 747 something thousand dollars and more than 4,000 bakers. So why are all these people so enthusiastic about this one? Well, what do they want to do with it? They will do, in my opinion, the most diverse thing. They will have uh, home uh, systems for simply gaming or seeing a film, but also they will develop uh, the different application they will develop uh, prototypes for, for their own uh, for their own system uh, using the Arduino part and they will use it uh, just to to play 
online game. So it has G embedded GPU in here. It has a GPU, yes. It's yeah. it's powerful like the your average laptop and something more probably. All right. Plus you can do a plus you can do powerful IoT stuff. Yes, you can control uh, motors, you can control lights, you can control uh, sensors via the Arduino part. So I guess uh, Intel must be happy about. Uh, what you're doing right here, right? Yes, are actually, they supporting you? Uh, they supported us technically, yes, sure. They are uh, uh, they are aware of this project and they are pushing it. Uh, we have a very good relation with them since uh, decades, so... Maybe yes. there's a lot of Intel engineers backing it, you on, on uh, Kickstarter. Probably, yes. They want to have it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Probably, yes. Yeah. All right, that's cool. Okay. okay. So what's going to happen in the future? Future, <laughs> difficult to say. <laughs> we are still thinking. The there's, one, uh, there's, one a thing of, uh, there's a lot of things happening here. Uh, so what are we looking at here? This is uh, oh, this one is Nvidia TK1 based uh, TK1 Type Six. Yes. Nvidia, and what are we looking at here? Uh, Nvidia. This one is a, it's an Intel Bay Trail Q7 module for for industrial application with its own carrier board. All right. Uh, and there, uh, embedded. Um, Embedded NUC uh, single board based on, on uh, uh, Intel Braswell. This one is a single board based on Solo X from NXP for, for IoT uh, applications. Then here we have uh, a Comespress Type 6 based on the latest AMD Merlin Falcon R series. Uh, latest AMD? Architecture, yes. Very powerful uh, graphically. And also a very good computing power. Is it built-in Radeon graphics in there? Yes, yes, built-in Radeon graphics. Uh, Q7 uh, embedded G-series system on chip. Uh, lower power for. Uh, uh, yes, yeah. it's a uh, both step eagle and. Uh, cool. All right. This so, one. so uh, okay, this one it's an example of system uh, based on our single board uh, with MX6. And you can use it as a human-to-machine interface for whatever application. It's touch plus display. So Seiko has a lot of customers around the world? Yes, we are, we are based in Italy, but we have customers in the US, customers in the European Union, customers here in Taiwan, China, Japan, Australia, so almost So big everywhere. customers, small customers, lots of people. Yes, for the Udo, uh, usually Everybody. single customers. For yeah. these other kind of products, usually companies, big companies, corporations. And you help them make it into something special, customized stuff? Yes, sure. Uh, these are all our standard products, but we also do uh, custom products with our, with our customers. They, we discuss together the, the specification and we design and produce for them.